Oh, it's really hot in here. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. No, this is. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am watching myself right now and realizing I look like an actual ghost. I really need a tan desperately let's ignore that but i hope you guys are having an amazing wonderful fantastic blessed day as always and we are going to do a little assumptions video however the twist which seems to be my new thing videos i usually do with a twist um is that i am going to be building furniture while we do this and honestly um i need i need to do it this way because otherwise i will never build my furniture it turns out it's something that I really don't like doing. Also, it's really hard to do it by myself. So I figure if I tell myself that I have to, you know, like I have to record a video because I need a video and I also need to build the furniture. So I'm just gonna knock out two birds, one stone and you guys get to watch me struggle. Also, I'm gonna drink wine, obviously. I don't even know why I say that anymore because I feel like you can just assume that's what I'm gonna do. We are not gonna play with squeaky toys is what we're not gonna do, Mila. But we're gonna be building some furniture. I have a new couch, I have dining chairs, I have a coffee table. Um, honestly, for this video, like the time it's gonna take me just to build one of those items is probably gonna be the whole video. So I hope you don't expect to learn any furniture building skills here because quite frankly, you're not going to. Um, but if you do wanna see updates on my house and I am gonna be doing a house tour soon, I promise. Um, I will link the stuff that I am building or show you in the description so you can see it, assuming I get anything fully built. And if you wanna see some updates, definitely follow me on Instagram at Britt Shaheen. And I've been TikToking lately, you guys. I'm trying. Okay, I'm making an effort. I'm really not a funny person, but I'm trying to talk on TikTok. It's like mini versions of my YouTube. So if that interests you, my TikTok is Brit.Shaheen. Um, and we can hang out there too. So I'm just all over the place now. I'm on Twitter now too. I'm just really like a social media whore is what this is starting to sound like. Yeah, we should just get into the video. So I am drinking, honestly, I just went to Target because I was procrastinating because I didn't want to build a furniture. <laughs> it's already like 9.30. Um, and I bought this mostly for decoration in my house because how beautiful is this right here? And I have this really special wine rack that my brother built me for Christmas and I've decided I'm just gonna like put pretty bottles of wine on it instead of actually store wine on it. Um, it's gonna be for decoration. And this was pretty, so I got it. And you know, I need to relax, right? So <laughs> this is Relax Rosé and it's actually surprisingly good. It's really cute, it's from Target. It was like $10, so cheers. Grab some popcorn, grab a glass of wine. Let's build some furniture and listen to most likely all the terrible assumptions you guys have about me. Here we go. Okay, so first things first, I need to remove the couch that is here because I'm getting rid of it. I've had this couch for two years. Um, me and somebody that you know uh, picked it out together and it's just time to get rid of it. It's actually, is it three? I don't know how long I've had this couch, but a while. It needs to be retired. I was ready for a new one. I also wanted a gray one. So as you can see, a few days ago, one piece of said couch came in the mail. I recorded this in my last YouTube videos, and then the rest didn't come in for like two days, and then, and then my dining room table got delivered, and um, it's like 500 pounds, and they didn't build it, and it's just sitting in the middle of the floor. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but I will go ahead and push this couch out of here so that I have room to build the rest of the couch. So, I suppose I can go ahead and answer an assumption, and then I'm gonna break apart this whole entire box and hope and pray that I can figure it out. Here we go. First one, this one says, you love being independent and are super resilient in hard times. Yes and yes, I think, oh, wow, my house is so messy back here, that's fine. I honestly think that Texas and like the purpose of this move being so hard was to teach me to be resilient. Um, and I, that's definitely something that I've learned. Like I always joke now that because of what I went through last year and just other things, I always say like, oh, I'm freaking bulletproof, like nothing can hurt me. And sometimes I feel that way, but obviously I'm human and like that's not true all the time. But I will say like, I am resilient. And honestly, when things happen that are really hard, I think back to like the hardest thing that I ever went through, which honestly like this move doesn't even touch it. My breakup last year wasn't even the hardest thing I ever went through. Like there are so many things that have happened in my life that have been really freaking tough that I've never shared online. And 
I feel like I bounce back quickly because of that and I always remind myself like if I'm having a bad day or I'm having a hard day I think one is this harder than what I went through that one time and the answer is pretty much always no and two is there somebody out there that's going through something harder than I am and the answer is always yes and that to me makes me resilient because I'm just like, I shouldn't complain, I can get through it, I'm gonna move on, tomorrow's a new day. Um, there's actually this song by Alex Aono, it's called Good Morning, I'll link it in the description. And you guys, when I'm struggling, sometimes I'll listen to that song, and the lyrics are literally like, just get up, um, it's a good morning, like take a shower, do whatever, and that's kind of like how I feel. I'm like, if I'm really, really struggling and having a hard time, I just remind myself of the important things and I think I've learned to be resilient and I love being independent you guys like I love living on my own honestly it's gonna be very hard for me to live with somebody in the future again I just like being by myself I like that I was able to just buy pink bar stools and no one had anything to freaking say about it because I got to just choose them and just like doing what I want to do and not feeling like I'm answering to anyone like I am really, really independent and I love that about myself and I'm proud of myself and I actually had a girlfriend the other day say, she was like, you know, I really love that, like if you're in the mood to like go sit in a parking garage or you want to go watch the sunset, you'll just go on a drive by yourself or you'll go take photos by yourself or whatever it is. She was like, you just do it and you don't let it stop you from being alone and I don't know if that's something that I recognize in myself, like I thought that everybody just did that, um, but I am really comfortable just being by myself. I like my own company, like I think that's why I like making YouTube videos because I can just like talk to the camera and I don't. I don't mind I think it's fun so yes so that one that one's definitely true I'm gonna start cutting open this box and I'll read another one okay honestly I'm using like a butcher knife this is absurd okay next one says you're five nine no okay so there was actually a bunch of them that were like this either you guys are gonna like this or you're gonna think it's super distracting I'm not sure but there was a bunch that were like, you're really tall, you're this, you're that, you're taller than the guys you date. And no, I don't know why everyone thinks I'm so tall. I mean, I guess I'm like a little bit taller than average. I'm 5'7", and like in heels, I'm like 5'9". I'm like pretty tall in a pair of heels. But really, you guys, the mirror that I take my selfies in, I think it just makes me look really tall because it's such a big mirror. I don't know. That's my theory. So I'm not 5'9". That is... You are an introvert. Okay. This one's interesting. Oh no, hold on. Let me pull this because it's gonna be noisy. Who made this freaking design? Why is this? Why is this? Why is it like this? Make it make sense. Oh my gosh, yes. I hope you just feel like you're like hanging out in the living room helping me be all helping me build English, helping me build furniture. Okay, so you're an introvert. So this is interesting because I would say yes, which is kind of confusing, and I realize that's probably unexpected for me to say. I get really anxious in big crowds of people. Like, expos are kind of hard for me, and just like big crowds. Like, I actually have a hard time training at Elf Elfleet Gym because there's so many people there sometimes, and it just feels like there's eyes on me and like I get anxious. And I am kind of an introvert, like I get nervous with new people, but at the same time, like once I'm comfortable around you, I'm like totally myself and am fine. And like I'll be really nice to you in person, obviously, like if you ever meet me, I'll be like super nice and probably make an idiot of myself and it'll be great. But I definitely like, after I'm around people for too long, I feel like I have to like rest for a day. Like I get very like emotionally exhausted easily, like spent almost. And I love being around people that like, I always say that I want people in my life that add to it and that is in all the ways, like happiness and trust and like fun times, but also like people that add energy to my life that I don't feel exhausted after I hang out with them. Like my girlfriends here, I could literally hang out with them every single day and there's no point where I'm like, oh, I'm really tired, I need to like restart, you know what I mean? Because they like pour into me and it's like such a healthy friendship, which is amazing. But there's definitely, I, I definitely have a hard time around new people. Like, I don't know, I just get nervous and I get in my head. And like, I'm definitely more likely to be like quiet and confident than I am to be like the life of the party. Like, I don't like to be the center of attention. I just, yeah, I guess I am an introvert. I don't know. But in certain situations, I guess I'm an extrovert. It just depends. But if you meet me in person, I'm like, I'm definitely like outgoing and fun. I just, when I get in a big crowd, I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it's just not my my comfort zone if that makes sense so i guess that assumption is true what's next your petty your ex is happy in a new relationship not at all literally not at all honestly like you guys the more you grow up the more you like don't care what your exes are doing it's the strangest thing like for somebody to be like you think this about brandon my immediate response would be like i don't think about brandon at all like i just don't it's just not a part of my life anymore that was so long ago i had a whole relationship since then a very healthy one and i don't know i just don't think about it and i'm not petty about it and like you know what brandon and i had some really good times and some good memories and like i'm grateful for that but i'm not petty about his new relationship like if he's happy that's great i hope he wishes me happiness um and i hope he finds happiness too somehow some way and that's it that's all there is to it so that one is false <laughs> do you guys ever watch other people's videos and then watch my videos like the people that have like really cool sick angles and then you watch my videos and you're like why does this look like it's recorded on an iphone <laughs> Oh wow, it says specifically, do not cut with knife. I'm trying Stop judging. We don't need no man. Okay? Let this be a reminder. <laughs> you do not need a man. You can do this all on your own. It's hard as shit, but you can. <laughs> Alright, next assumption. Honestly, this is better than I'm recording a video. If I wasn't, I would just be sitting here on my phone taking breaks. This one says. I assume that you will get that you will get homesick pretty soon. That is true. That is a very accurate assumption. I'm already homesick. I was actually looking at flights today to go home. I want to visit for a weekend and see my mom. I want to get my lips touched up and I just want to go home for a weekend. I do miss it a lot. Um, mostly just my family. Like my sister-in-law is she's having a baby this year and they just found out that it's a girl and um, I just want to go and visit them and love on them and bring them cute baby clothes and all that fun stuff and hopefully they can visit me soon too. Um, so that is true. I am a little bit homesick. I can't believe people build things for a living. Tyler, my brother, if you're watching this, I don't know how you deal with this crap, it's so hard. Okay, this piece looks like it's about to get complicated, so I'm gonna just answer a couple more assumptions and then finish the couch and then show you the finished product. Product? Because I think I need to actually focus while I put this part together. Okay, high body count. Do I have a high body count? I don't think I do. I'm not, honestly, like, I know people who have body counts of like 50 and like 30 people and like, not to judge, like, do you as long as you're being safe but mine's nowhere near that so like i don't think it's i don't think it's high i don't know what constitutes as high but i would say no i don't know i don't just like sleep around at all i never have not even like in college not even when i was a party girl i didn't even sleep around it's just not my thing don't like it okay what else that you are going to start in only fans Honestly, you guys, the only way that I ever would is if it started to become more of a platform that was like not sexualized. Like I've spoken to OnlyFans. When you're like an influencer, you get emails from all kinds of companies and they have emailed me and they were like, you can just post workout videos. It doesn't have to be sexual. Like what if you just posted like workout content or the photos you're already posting, like your bikini photos and stuff, you could just put them on OnlyFans and you'd make so much money, blah, 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 blah. And like, I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I've put enough thought into it. If you are somebody that has an OnlyFans, like get that bad girl, do you, whatever you wanna do, that's awesome. I could never like be like a nude OnlyFans girl. Like I just could never do that. Like I would never show my naked body on the internet by any means. So I don't know, I think it's hard. I feel like if it was, if there wasn't such a stigma around it and it was, you know, premium workout content or whatever, like, then that would be different, but I feel like right now it's still so sexualized that it would make me a bit uncomfortable. So, probably a no for right now. You have more bad luck than the average person. Honestly, I think yes. I really think yes. If you guys have watched this move, then you know I have like the most garbage luck. I was with um, my friend Jazzy the other day and she even said it. She was like, literally Brittany, it's every single day. She was like, it's something every single day. It's actually insane. Like something bad has happened to you. Like ever since I decided to move to Texas, it's just kind of been nonstop. And it's kind of just a joke between all my friends now. Like they're all like, what's, your, what's gonna happen today, Brittany? What's the next thing? And they're saying that they're gonna come over and like cleanse my house with sage and like all this stuff you know, cleanse the bad energy out that has apparently been here since 
literally like I mean before my move started like you guys have seen all the mess it's just been really chaotic so I do think I have a bit of bad luck bit of a bad luck streak but I also think I have a lot of good luck and I think I'm really really blessed and it's okay and it's really taught me how to just like laugh it off like things happen now like this morning when the movers dropped off my table and they were like no we're not putting it together I literally laughed I was like of course you're not like <laughs> because why would it go right <laughs> in my life like I just I feel like I'm just expecting something to go wrong at this point. So I'm like, if it goes right, I'm really excited. If it goes wrong, I'm not crying on the floor. So it is what it is. We will do two more. You didn't buy a house because you're unsure, you're, Mila, you'll like living in Texas. That is part of it. So I didn't want to just jump into buying a house. My house is a rent to buy, so I will be able to buy it if I want to. Mila. She, you guys, she always does this when I'm trying to record a video, doesn't she? But I, yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't gonna just come to a place. <laughs> I've never lived and buy a house when I've never bought a house before. So I went ahead and rented, that's true. I'm in a year lease right now. And I think next year I definitely will buy. I'd be shocked if I didn't. If not, then definitely the year after. And I think I will stay in Texas. I really, really love it here so far. And I think it's only gonna get better. So I really think that I'll stay. Um, but yes, you are correct. I did not buy because I didn't know. And I wasn't gonna make that kind of commitment without being sure. You grew up being somebody who knew what they wanted to do career-wise, family-wise, etc. cetera. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, obviously everything has changed from my original plan, but I definitely was one of those people that was like, once I get out of high school, I'm gonna move away. I'm gonna go to college in Boston or I'm gonna go to college somewhere cool and I'm gonna start my life and I'm gonna be a city girl and then I'm gonna do this and do that and like, but I didn't know you guys, that's the thing. Like those of you that are watching that are teenagers or you're in college, you don't have to know what you want. And like all the pressure you get your senior year of high school where everybody's like, where are you going to school? What are you gonna major in? The average person changes their major like two times I think, and I did. Um, I was fully convinced for the longest time I was gonna be a nurse. And then I thought I was gonna be like a missionary and I wanted to work with special needs. There were, I mean, there were so many things. And then I got to school and I majored in psychology because I thought I wanted to do something in the social work field or in the special needs field, which I still want to do um, somehow or another. I just need to figure out the logistics of that. But yeah, I definitely, I thought I knew. And then I switched my major and then I got a major in international relations. And then I got a job in sales and then I became a YouTuber. That's the thing. I definitely, I always thought I knew. I always thought that I was going to do the thing, I was gonna like go to school, get a job, get married, have kids, probably live in the country somewhere. Like, I always thought about that in my life. Um, I still do, I do want kids, that's something that I want. I know for sure that I wanna get married and have kids someday, but I'm not in any rush. And I understand now that things don't work out like we plan, like it's not our plan. You know, we don't really get to choose all the time. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm doing what makes me happy. It's okay if you don't know what you want to do right now because you don't have to know and there is tons of time to figure it out. Okay, I had to switch my camera battery because my camera was gonna die. Man, check out this lovely breakout. I do have a skincare routine and I recorded my everyday makeup routine for you guys because I know that you've been asking for that. So that's coming too, don't worry. And I will do one more. One more, one more. You buy 500 pound tables and assume they'll get assembled. True. A low key anxious person, high key anxious person. I tell you guys all the time about my anxiety. This one is from somebody that I know personally and I've known literally for years. And um, he said um, that at your core, you're one of the most genuine and empathetic and wonderful people. That is so nice um, for him to say that. I, I can't say through the other ones, but I will say I am extremely empathetic. Like, in a bad way sometimes, I never wanna hurt anyone. I always put everyone else's feelings before me. And when I don't, like when I have to put my feelings first and I have to be selfish, I have an extremely hard time doing it and I harbor a lot of guilt for it. And it takes me a very long time to do it and sometimes I drag things on that I shouldn't because I'm too scared to hurt people. And it can be a bad thing, but I know it's also a good thing because the people in my life and you guys, like you know how much I care about you, like, you know you can message me and I'm gonna be there for you and I'm gonna feel your pain. Truly, like when somebody tells me what they're going through, like I feel like I carry the weight of it and that's that's a hard thing to do, but I'm so quick to be like, I wanna carry the weight for you. Like how can I help? What can I do for you right now? Um, 
and I always kind of like put what I need aside to make sure everybody else feels okay, if that makes sense. Um, and I love that about myself because I know people personally that just don't have empathy. Like I don't think so, I don't think empathy is something that everybody has or understands. And if you guys are confused about that, like when you have sympathy for someone, it means like you feel bad for them. Like you go to a, to a funeral and you're like, I feel so bad and you're sympathetic. Like I'm sorry for you. Empathy is like, I'm so sorry for you and I feel your pain. Like I get it, I feel it, how can I fix it? Like that kind of thing, if that makes sense. And I know people who literally have been like, I'm not empathetic and they don't feel guilt or they don't feel sorry or they don't carry that weight. Um, and I carry it like to an extreme, extreme level. So if you're somebody that you feel like you're not you're not empathetic and like I'm saying this and it doesn't make any sense to you and you're like, this is too much, then like maybe that's something to think about. Maybe talk to somebody about that. Um, not that it's a bad thing. Uh, I just think it's something that we should all work on. We should all be conscious of how other people feel and empathetic and you know, try to be there for them and try to understand what they're going through, put yourself in their shoes, that kind of thing. So I really try to do that all the time and sometimes it's an issue, but I also love it about myself because I think I have a big heart for people. So it's okay, but okay you guys, I am going to finish building the furniture. I will check back in when the couch is done and show it to you before I end the video. So please, please pray for me because my furniture building skills are really, really, really sad. Okay, here we go. What's up you guys? So I am back. I am checking in to finish off this video and I can't believe I'm actually saying this words because I edited this whole video today and I was like, man, this was a week ago. Uh, so in the past 10 days, I put together that entire couch and immediately when it was fully put together, I realized that it was too small. And I freaked out and my brother had to talk me out of keeping it because it just didn't look right in the room. I will put a picture up or like a little video of what it looked like in the room. It just didn't fit, it didn't look good and I didn't want to accept it, but I had to. I basically had to pack that couch back into the box that I had to get it out of and ship it off to Wayfair to get it returned, so. It is what it is, not my favorite information, but you know, it is what it is. And I ended up going to Star Furniture here in Houston and I was able to buy a whole new couch and I am freaking in love with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the finished product and the rest of my furniture is here. That means probably two videos from now, you're gonna be getting a house tour. So I'm so excited about that. I literally cannot wait for you guys to see it. I know you're gonna love the house and there's so much to show you. So that's coming and here is the new couch. There we go with Mila's little toy over there. This all is gonna be gone. That back wall has an entertainment unit that is gonna actually be going in by the end of the day today, so ignore that. But this is the new couch. I also got a new rug. Um, I will link all of these fun things. The coffee table's going because I don't like how it looks. I'm gonna get a circle one, but this is the couch. I'm in freaking in love with it. It's so comfortable. It's so much bigger. Like, I don't know, you can just tell. it. This one just fits the room so much better and just has a lot more space. After all of that mess, you know, at least I ended up with a couch that I really love. So it's fine, I'm not upset about it. Uh, it was worth it and just add it to the list of things for me to be resilient about. Um, but that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some fun assumptions about me. I will have a new video going up later this week, probably Friday or Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys have the most amazing night. I love you so, so, so much and I will see you in the next one.